The results are in, and it's a stunning I-Team investigation two years in the making. More than a dozen homes tested for coal dust near the Wee Energy's power plant in Oak Creek. The I-Team Jermont Terry got a hold of those results, and he joins us now, Jermont. Carol, so far the results show coal dust in 80% of the homes tested. We're talking a trace, minor, and major amounts of positive identification of coal inside these homes. Now families affected say it's time for Wee Energies to clean up and pay up. Tim and Sue Hupp complained for years something in their house on Douglas Avenue in Racine was making them sick. I feel helpless. The Hupps believed this coal pile outside the Wee Energy's power plant in Oak Creek caused their health problems. I slowly feel that I'm going downhill. Tim now requires oxygen to breathe and Sue's cancer is currently in remission. They spent six hours, six, I believe about six hours in here taking tests. The I-Team was there when We Energies tested inside of houses. These were homes where people all said they developed breathing problems and other health concerns due to blowing coal dust. So is this going to be your sample or mine? Two companies took pictures, swiped samples from refrigerators, TVs, and window seals. One tester gathered samples for the families and another for We Energies. Those samples went to one day designated lab. We Energies and the family's attorney would not make the results public, but some families did provide us copies. I would certainly say it doesn't make them look good. Max Livingston, attorney for the families, verified the I-Team had authentic lab results. What are the results? 11 out of 14 homes tested positively for coal. A total of 25 homes were tested. Results are back from 14 homes so far. 11 homes, or 80%, showed positive identification of coal dust from samples collected. Our house tested the highest out of the 11 houses. The hub's test results show major coal dust particles in the living room and bedroom and traces in the kitchen. We can't afford to up and move. Well, it's not a surprise that there'd be some. But Brian Manthe with We Energies argues the testing also showed major levels of other particles, which could also cause health problems. 76 major readings of things that have nothing to do with coal dust. But, but 76 major re readings other than coal dust, but we do have major readings of coal. There are some of those that are at that level. Attorney Livingston believes it's another excuse. There's no safe exposure to coal. If you breathe in the wrong coal and it hurts you, then and that coal hurts you. We would say that those test results that we've seen back so far actually support our contention that there is not a health risk. Right now, two piles of coal are sitting outside the plant, but the two piles will soon double to four. The DNR will monitor blowing dust. How do we stop this going forward? After families started a petition requesting air quality tests, We Energies installed air monitors in the neighborhood. For now, families like the Hubs, who finally know what's inside their homes, are demanding two things. Pay up and clean up. Everything. Pay up, clean up, uh, accept responsibility. There's no lawsuit filed, so We Energies adds it hasn't considered any settlements. I did ask if these latest results will be, will be provided to the DNR, which is the agency which regulates the power plant. Manthe tells me there's a good chance that the DR, DNR will in fact get these results. So despite the results, the two sides are a long way from coming to an agreement on what, if anything, from this power plant is making these people sick. Yeah, i got to get to the bottom of this, though. Thank you very much, Jermont.